brown bear exhibit where we currently house four adult brown bears. It's a lot of space for the bears. It's two different levels. It's three pools. It's really nice. It's bear paradise. Bears are my absolute favorite animal. It's so good. <laughs> it's scratching his back. <laughs> There's never a boring day with bears. This group of bears, like all the brown bears we have in our parks, so they were all rescued from the wild after becoming orphaned. So if we can take some of these orphans in from the wild, it gives these guys a forever home. All of them have a different personality. Sika is the only female, and she is the absolute bossiest bear. This is Coots right here. He's our resident troublemaker. Brown bears love to dig. It is a natural behavior for them. But recently, there has been excessive digging on the brown bear exhibit. When the bear exhibit was first designed, a lot of the lower areas were made from concrete. And we decided just to introduce more natural elements to keep them stimulated and interested. So we put a soil, sand, rocks. We planted trees. We basically created a playground for the bears to just go and destroy things. But. Managing these bears is like playing a game of chess. They tear it up, we fix it, and they tear it up again. I just think it's bears being bears. Like, we had a pine tree out there on the exhibit, and they managed to get over to it, and they destroyed it. They're pulling up plants. They're digging holes in the wild. They're looking for, you know, maybe insects, grubs and they can dig in a, a tremendous amount in a very short period of time. So we're just like, we we'll always seem to be one step behind. <laughs> so right now, they're digging under large rocks and boulders. And we're concerned that if they do too much digging underneath them, the rocks could actually collapse on top of them. So this is an issue that we need to address. But we have four very large bears out there who are very strong, very powerful. It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> This morning, I came out to clean the pools, and I went to open the drain for this middle pool, and there wasn't one. <laughs> it's this piece right here. The brown bears ripped it out of the ground yesterday and threw it into the pool. So they actually pulled that out of the hole? Yeah, they partied a little too hard. <laughs> My guess would be Coots. Coots is the biggest bear, so he does a lot of digging. The concern about something like this is that it's not safe. So they won't be going back out in this exhibit until everything's secure and safe for them. Well, the bears had fun ripping this out. These guys, once they get the flame with stuff, that's it. <laughs> the goal is not to stop them from digging entirely. Um, it's to find a way where we can have them do effective digging that's not going to destroy the exhibit. While mammal maintenance is repairing the exhibit, we're going to take this opportunity to do some routine husbandry. One of those things that we like to do as often as possible is nail trims. Okay. The bears need their nails trimmed because if they're too long, they can splinter or fracture in half. We want to make sure they're not going to like grow into the pads of their feet or anything like that. This is what we call a honey syringe. Honey is one of their favorite treats. It keeps them distracted while we're cutting their nails. Oh, you're so excited. Ready? Can I have your paw, please? Good, thank you. Are you the perfect bear? The ideal scenario for a bear nail trim would be paw up. Come here. Blow the whistle, that's the bridge sound. So bridge means that they know that's the right behavior that we wanted. Good girl. Good job. Reinforced with the honey. Because they're eating the honey, hopefully they're going to keep that paw there. And then we'll get a trim. There we go. That one? Yeah. Stay there. You're right. Let's try for one more. OK. We're excited to get the bears back on exhibit. So they're definitely antsy. They're definitely really excited to go out. Come on. There we go. 
Good boy. Yay, thank you. You are amazing. All of the repairs are done in the brown bear exhibit. We feel like the exhibit is a safer place. They're ready to go back outside on exhibit, and we're really excited for them to go out, too. Managing a brown bear's desire to dig is not a battle that you're trying to win. You know, to a certain extent, you want them to dig, you want them to forage, you want them to use those natural behaviors. Our main concern, though, is safety. So it's always a balance of those two things. So now we'll put the bears out. Hey, you ready? Hi, have fun. They run out. <laughs> For us here at the Bronx Zoo, the most important thing is that the bears are happy and that they have the opportunity to do what bears do. These are all rescued bears. <laughs> and I think that we all feel really lucky to come to work every day and have a relationship with these guys and know that we're really making a difference.